Hey guys, how are you guys doing? So today I'm going to release a dream that I've had. I had this dream last year and I have, um, I think I told the dream or I wrote the dream on Facebook, but um, that is as far as I got. But I thought about sharing this dream um, because I see some things unfolding in the nations right now. And I really think it's important to give this dream a try. And I don't know if I really want to interpret the dream live on face on uh, YouTube um, right now, but um, I'll see. So let's pray real quick. Thank you, Father, that you are the uh, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And there is none other. Father, we rely on you for our life, our very life, Lord, and our breath, our salvation for our existence. Father, we uh, fall back into your arms, our good, good father. Lord, I thank you that that this afternoon for me and telling this dream that you're going to give me um, precision and accurate. Woo! Wow, that was a that was a bolt of uh, that was a thunderbolt <laughs> that just hit. That scared me. So you'll give me precision and accuracy in the interpretation of this dream in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So I had that. I was like, wow. Okay. I'm not sure what that was about, but I need to pray about that. <laughs> so, um, so we, I'm going to go back to June the 5th, 2020, and I'm going to tell I've got this dream written down, so I'm going to tell it just like I wrote it. So I'm just kind of going to read it, and then I'm, we're going to go. I'm going to go back and just kind of explain it a little bit, maybe. Not sure if I'm going to interpret it, but let's just go ahead and just read it like it is. So June the fifth, 2020, I saw a very large tree struck by lightning. Okay, the title of this uh, YouTube vi video is "Tree Falling." So I was actually looking out of the back of my, the window of my bedroom. I believe I was in my bedroom looking out the window and I sort of was looking to the right behind my neighbor's house. Um, there, it seemed to be their tree that was struck by lightning. So it wasn't like something I was looking straight back in my own backyard, but I was looking to the right and saw a huge tree. This was a big, massive healthy, actually a very healthy, it seemed to be a very healthy tree, a living tree. It wasn't dead. It wasn't like it was a dead tree and the lightning, bolt of lightning, you know, bam, hit it and it, you know, easily came down and no big deal. It's just a dead tree, you know, it hit it and exploded or whatever. But this was a tree that actually had volume and thickness and, 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 and it almost seemed like it had rugged, ruggedness. I, I, I felt, even I felt like I felt the tree it was the bark around the tree. And even when the lightning hit the tree, uh, immediately it was like the, the, the tree, it was expanded to me so that I could see all the bark, the white living bark in the tree sticking up, you know, how like bark sticks up in different levels, you know, it's sort of like this and that, you know, like if you, if you, if, if a tree was struck, you could see like it didn't get sawed off and it wasn't a straight line, but you saw all the bark. So all of the bark was living. It was, it was bright, uh, like a yellowish white color. So I knew the tree was, uh, massively hit hard. The tree was actually growing on a hill. So when I was looking out of my backyard to the right, there was a neighbor side yard of their backyard, but it was on a steep hill. So the tree was growing on this steep hill and it violently was struck by lightning. And it, when it, when it was struck by lightning, it just broke it in half and it tumbled it tumbled hard down that hill. I mean, it was like thud, 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 thud down the hill. So as it tumbled down this big steep hill, I saw that it revealed the white part of the bark, the, the tree flesh on the inside. And when I woke up from this dream, the word flesh came to me, like the fleshy part of the tree came to me. So what I felt is I watched this tree tumbling down the 
pill. And I don't know if it was in the dream that I thought this or what, when I woke up that I thought this was, but it, 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 it felt like it was a white man falling. It really, like when I woke up, I was like, man, was that a man falling down the hill? Was that a, was that a white man falling down the hill? Was that flesh falling down the hill? Was that, was that, you know, was that something, um, uh, like, you know, either, you know, a representation of uh, the white race or our flesh. I wasn't sure, but I just know the word white uh, stood out really strong to me. And the um, other thing that I thought was that it was falling down face down. The tree, it, it tumbled down, but it felt like the tree had a face. <laughs> <laughs> like it had the a front part and a back part and a side part, but that the, the, the tree had like a face of the tree and it fell down forwards and it tumbled down the hill. So that was the other thing um, that it fell face down and it could be the idols. And that's my, making me think of that because, you know, uh, was it Dagon had idols and when the idols fell, they fell like, what did they fall face down or did they fall backwards? I'm going to have to look that up. I think they fell face down. So it reminded me of uh, <clears throat> a man. <clears throat> it really did. I don't think it remind it. It was specifically like um, uh, the, uh, like the difference between uh, this wasn't a woman, but this was a man, but I think it reminded me of man, like man, like, like the, the human race, the human race, the human race of the man. So we are, we are that human race, whether we're female or male. Then suddenly fires began to spring up everywhere. I saw fires springing up. Um, it's almost over to the left of this yard. Like I saw, it was like a right and a left. It was like I remember it being a right and a left. The tree fell to the right. Then I saw a barn to the left. And this inside of this barn was uh, a fire. It was a little fire burning inside the barn. And then there was fires burning all around. But I specifically sent, saw one fire on the land, all a wall aware of what was going on. That was the other thing that when I left the dream, um, it seemed to me that I was, it was like, no, I knew what was going on. It's like they had no clue. They didn't know what was going on. I was like, oh, I got to tell them what's going on. This is this is bad. You know, this is their tree got struck and there's a barn in the fire. There's a barn in the fire. There's a fire in the barn and there's some fires that are springing up all across the land. So I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need to let them know. So when I woke up, uh, I spoke this dream in my voice recorder. And I recorded it. That's why I know all the little tiny nuances of the dream. And, 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 and I was able to record all of these little tiny spot, spots of the dream. And that, 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 that makes the dream come alive. Because when you oftentimes when you dream and you wait even five minutes and you don't speak that dream out, as soon as you wake up, you're going to lose some of the most important parts of dreams. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm not going to interpret this dream on this video. I'm going to interpret it on uh, a, a different video. I'm going to uh, connect it together, though. So I thank you, Father, that you are a revealer of dreams. You are a revealer of those that are dreamers. Thank you, Lord, for more dreamers that dream, Lord, but that not only just dreaming for, you know, that that for it to benefit themselves, but to benefit the nations, not just one nation, but the nations of the earth. So thank you, Father, for giving me the interpretation of this dream, that it is by your mighty Holy Ghost and your fire that you reveal it so that it brings prosperity to those that hear it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. All right. Blessings, guys.